Okay, you rocking out with Real Phone Talk? State your name. Um, from, from Steams. You already know, Steams, we kicked up. What's good, Steams? How many years you been battling? Um, I should say four. Four, this is my fourth year, like, three, like, this battling. What would you mean, like, in the new age battling, like, forever? Because I was battling when I was 16. Yeah. And then I stopped when I was, like, 19. Yeah, so how many... And I started again at about 24. So how many years altogether, you think? So that's the case, and I was battling since I was, I was um, so 12 years. So you've been in the game for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I've been battling when I was a teenager. Because I, I, I even got DVDs of me battling, but the thing is, me and my friends, we used to throw them shits all around. Now we got, got computers, we could have found them same fucked up DVDs and put them together and put them on the internet. Just so I can have, like, raw, old footage. Yeah, that that's dope. That's dope. What got you into yeah, that? Steam, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, when we, when we get our hands on that shit, you feel me? Definitely something I want to do. That'll be dope. Okay, well, niggas can see my evolution from 16 to now, you feel me? Yeah, on how you grew up. Yeah, I'm definitely a different nigga. Steam, what got you into battling? Um... No lie, I always, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them Jada Kiss Locks favorite niggas, you feel me? Like, yeah. I grew up loving Jada and them niggas. These so, locks. right, and you know, they style was always raw, so when I started to see niggas in the street, and you know, niggas just want to split they one round, like, not even one round, but like, you know, everybody, everybody had 32 freestyle at that time. I don't even know if niggas <laughs> remember that, but everybody had like, a, like, two, three, thirty two at the time. You had to be ready to go. If you claim you rap, you had to be ready to go. And that's when I was really battling. Now, that's how I got into it. Niggas be like, oh, let's bust through rap. First you rap and you, you just letting bars off. Now a nigga directing the shit he takes to you. So now you got to come back. You feel me? Yeah, hell yeah. It's like war battle. You feel me? And that shit, that, 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 that first, everybody who rap tell you that first, whoa. That shit like the fucking, when the needle go in your vein, man. It's different. <laughs> Oh, I hear that, Steams. Steams, do you associate with your fans? Oh, hell yeah, I fuck with my fans hard. I fuck with my fans hard. Like, on the low, not on the low, brought me, but I just, I ain't doing it as fast as I should because I'm too busy really fucking with these niggas, like, hollering at them, check the inbox, do you feel me? Yeah. I really put them on, like, yo, if you fuck with the cake, like, it's a cake back, do you feel me? We rocking, like, all my fans, cake back, we here. But it be, like, the look, I got a few of them that know what it be ripping. But the, oh, I just be chopping it with niggas, like, for kicking, you feel me? Like, because it's love. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. That's a fact. Yeah, man, you got to show love to them fans. And I got good fans, like, real good niggas. Like, I fuck with my fans, bro, shit. That's what's up. Who, I'm um, Steams, who would you like to battle in the future? Um, <laughs> there's a bunch of people I like to battle in the future, but no funny shit. I want to battle everybody nice in the game. Like, everybody who a nigga was staying yeah, he on your level. You got to, maybe I'm with him. Whatever that is. You know I mean? But my main thoughts right now, niggas like Daylight, Big T, Myers, and Law. Okay. Uh, Steams, how you take criticism? I take it real well. Like, like truthfully, I take any of that criticism funny sometimes because these niggas be corny. But... <laughs> Like, as far as personal, we talking man to man, I think that shit regular. You feel me? Because if anything, if a person sat in your face and went to tell you something without trying to make a spectacle of it, obviously they're telling you something they need. Right. Um, 
What inspires you to battle? What inspires me to battle? Mm -hmm. Um, my peers, my peers. You feel me? If you if, if, if you ain't around niggas who doing their thing, it won't motivate you. You feel me? Like I don't know if everybody know. I'm from We Go Hard. You feel me? Like that's that's my foundation. I come from a place where it shocks my nigga. Like you gotta fight. Everybody fighting. So it, it gets you as sharp as your pen. <laughs> far as me goes, like I've been the top nigga and we go on for about the last two and a half years. So you gotta understand, every time I come to a bit, my pressure different because I'm not like the rest of these niggas who don't put the pressure on yourself. If you the main event, or you supposed to be the top nigga, shouldn't every time you step on the stage that be proven? Yep. You feel me? I don't understand what niggas think. Like, oh, I got the belt. I'm going to sit here and show in comfortability with the belt and fall to the few wins. <laughs> nah, like, you got to prove that. Every time you step out, niggas have to say one more time in that crowd, this is why you the best nigga. Like, that's how I feel like you first just by. You feel me? Mm. That's what I like when niggas just like saying, this is why you that nigga. This is why you this. This is why you that. Because you prove it every time. Niggas don't got that, that prove in them no more. That pride. The pride helps you prove. You feel me? Yeah. You ain't got that shit in your heart, man, niggas. Niggas ain't got it in their heart, though. That, that's what it really boils down to, man. If niggas had that, that, that heart, a lot of this shit wouldn't be going on in battle raps. No, you're right about that. There's a lot of shit going on right now. Um, Steams, you just had a URL battle with Anubis, right? That. Uh, how you think you did in that battle? I did great. I did awesome. You think you, you think you took that? Oh, I definitely took that. Two one me. You feel me? A story was crazy. Maybe even the three oh. You feel me? Like just in the building, me already feeling like I got the thumb around. You know what I mean? I wasn't even worried about nothing. But it might be even the three oh because I was working. Boy had some some work. He had some work the whole shit. But when y'all see it, y'all gonna realize like I was in a different bag. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I was just in my zone, like, it was, it was definitely something to see, man. I had that whole room shake, shake. I know, I heard. <laughs> um, where they can find you at on the net? Alright, yeah, at my FB team in Washington, and my Twitter and ID is, um, at Steensley. Um, Definitely find me at Steensley. S-T-E-A-M-S-L-E-Y. Uh, any shout outs? Um, shout out to We Go Hard. Shout out to my Cake Factory bitch. Shout out to Cake, Cake Stuff, AMC, We Almighty. Almighty Cake, they AMC. Cake for niggas who don't know. And Loud Crowd Home Team, man, we coming. My team is the biggest thing about to be a battle rap. Watch out for me and watch out for my niggas, man. That's what's up, Steams, man. Real phone talk music on MTV. Want to take the time to thank you, bro. And I appreciate you so much for the interview, bro. No problem. I appreciate the love, man. You already know, man. I'm going to catch up with you and get an update maybe later on or something. All right. Just hit me. All right, brother. Peace. Peace. Music on MTV.